Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. Been kind of busy lately, spending time with family. It's June, summertime, you know, finally back making new videos. So what happens if you have your desktop, laptop, computer, it's running Windows and it starts crashing? Uh, you know, maybe you get a Windows update, something doesn't work, you get a blue screen of death. Uh, basically, everything just goes to crap. What do you do? Now, most people just kind of throw their hands in the air, start tearing their hair out, and they contact their nearest techie. But there's a very handy way that you can use to figure out what's wrong with your computer and actually solve the problem yourself. And the way is Windows log files. Now, there are two particular ways that you can, you can access these log files, and uh, I'm going to show you what those are. And then I'm going to explain a bit about what do you actually do with this information. So first, let's take a look at how you actually get this diagnostic information. So here we are in the desktop. Now, the first one is called the Event Viewer. You just click Start, type Event, and there's Event Viewer. So we click that. And OK, here's our little Event Viewer window. We're going to make that a little bigger. Now, you'll notice over here in the left-hand column, you have custom views, windows, logs, blah, blah, blah. What you're going to want is windows, logs, and usually system. That's usually where all the, uh, the error messages appear. Now, you'll notice if you start scrolling here, there are a lot of log file entries. Windows keeps a log of literally every single thing it does, like LSA package is not signed as expected. This can cause unexpected behavior. And then you come down here and information, oh, power limit value, blah, 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 manufacturer on init, processor 11 and group zero exposes the following power management capabilities. There's all kinds of stuff in here. So what you're really looking for is these little error messages like this. Okay, the NVIDIA local system container service terminated unexpectedly. You want errors. Well, you can sit here and scroll through these. They're going to be like hundreds, if not thousands. What you want to do is actually come over here and click filter current log and then just check the error box and click OK. And what that's going to do is filter out everything else and give you just the errors. Now, when you click on each error, you're going to see down below, like this one says, the Mozilla maintenance service terminated with the following error, uh, NVIDIA problem, another NVIDIA thing. Now, all of this is actually not unexpected because I just updated Mozilla Firefox and I just installed a new NVIDIA graphics driver. So when it says these are errors, they're not necessarily errors. But if you filter and you show these errors uh, and your computer is crashing, uh, if you look at the particular time that it crashed, you're going to see, ah, okay, right. At the time it crashed, which was just today when I fired it up, here's the error. The server, blah, 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 blah did not register with DCOM within the required timeout, blah, blah, blah. Uh, normally what will happen is this will give you some sort of clue as to what the issue is. I'm going to talk a bit about more about that in just a second. This event viewer is kind of like, uh, it's kind of hardcore and it, it's, it's a little bit more confusing. So what's the other way of viewing log files? That second way is the reliability monitor. So to open that, you're just going to click the start button and start typing reliability, reliability, and you'll see view reliability history. Now this is the most useful one because what this does uh, is it gives you this handy timeline, and if you have any error events, they're going to appear on this timeline. You'll be able to see what day it happened on. Uh, unfortunately, my laptop is so awesome <laughs> that I don't have any error events. Uh, on my desktop downstairs, I do. But what would happen is you'd see like one of these events and and on a particular day, and you click on it, and it's going to show you something. It's going to say like, uh, you know, oh, Realtek software component, you know, error crashed, blah blah blah, something like that. So what you want to do is go into one of these options, either the event viewer or the reliability monitor, and find out what the error message is. Great. So what do you do after that? Okay, this is where it gets fun. So let's say, um, like I had an NVIDIA error message, and as I said, it wasn't really an error message because I had just updated my graphics drivers. But what you're going to do is you're going to look at that error message, and then you're going to use your brain. <laughs> so let's say I saw that NVIDIA error message, and let's say it was like uh, there was an NVIDIA error message, and then there was another error message right around that one that said something like desktop window manager uh, stopped responding, or something like that. Well, at that point, you're probably sitting there thinking like, right, I don't know what the heck the desktop window manager is. That's when you use your old friend Google. You use the Google, 
and you search desktop window manager and you discover the desktop window manager is what makes it's it's what you see on the screen it's the taskbar explorer program windows that sort of thing it's the piece of software that manages basically the the user interface for windows then you notice that there's also an nvidia error right right before or after it so you go ah right nvidia that's a graphics chip maker so graphics cards so right there's some problem with my graphics drivers so then the first thing you do is you go hmm, let me update my graphics drivers of course you have to determine what do you have well if it says nvidia okay so you go to nvidia's website they may ask you which which one do you have like which graphics chip you may have to fire up the device manager and under display adapters see what the name is you have to actually kind of be a little bit like sherlock holmes and do a little sleuthing but nine times out of ten if you do this like in this example i just gave you'll go oh, okay let me get new graphics drivers you install them and maybe the problem goes away if the problem does not go away then you have to put on your Sherlock cap again and go, okay, right, what do I do now? Well, okay, it wasn't the graphics driver. That's when you have to stop and think. You can't be upset. You can't be, you just, you got to think. Okay, what changed on my computer? When did this problem actually start? The problem started on, you know, Tuesday at noon. Okay, what did I do Tuesday morning? What did I do Monday evening? Um, it's a Tuesday, we did some Windows updates install. Maybe I can just go and, and roll back those Windows updates. Uh, I have a video about that. Um, maybe you installed some piece of software like, like a, a screen recorder software. Ah, that uses the graphics card, right? Maybe whatever little driver the screen recorder software installed is, is messing up with the desktop window manager and that's causing things to crash. Ah, okay, either turn it off or uninstall it, see if your problem goes away. If it does, you just solve your problem. You have to find different screen recording software. So you have to kind of do this sort of kind of very calm, cool, differential diagnosis and always remember that computers don't do anything like really like out of the blue. Like, yes, if a person is, yes, we can affect our computers. I've seen it happen so many times, it's crazy. But there is always a logical, rational solution to the problem. Whether it's uninstall a piece of software, install a new, new driver, uh, roll this back, roll this forward, there's always a solution to it. So if you keep your wits about you, you'll solve your problem. And if you don't, then you can go to my website and ask me for help. So hopefully that gives you uh, some tips and tricks you can use to diagnose and repair your own computer. The event viewer, if you're hardcore, if you're not, reliability monitor, it is extremely useful because it just gives you that timeline and you've got the error messages right there and you go, ah, right, started crashing on Tuesday, boom, there's the error message and you have a place to start. And instead of just throwing your hands up in the air and pulling your hair out, uh, you'll be able to hopefully sort it out. For more Techie Tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.